this video we're going to look at parallel lines so this should be a very quick and easy video so parallel lines never intersect so they just run along beside each other you can see this one here it's just running along beside the other one but it will never actually meet it so they're never actually going to, to meet an example of parallel lines are uh, two train tracks so pair train tracks are running along beside each other they're never going to intersect so they're always just going to stay at the same distance apart okay so what i mean by that is the distance from here to here would be the same as the distance from here to here okay if you look at this question at uh, these two lines you've got this line which is y is equal to 2x plus 5 and you've got this line which is y is equal to 2x plus uh, 2x minus 3 i should say so the gradient of the first one is 2 remember y is equal to mx plus c is your general equation where m is your gradient and c is what's called uh, your intercept so you have got y is equal to mx plus c so here your gradient is 2 and in this one the gradient is 2 so what we have shown is that parallel lines have the same gradient but they have got different intercepts so in the first one your intercept is plus 5 and in the second one the intercept is minus 3 so parallel lines have the same gradients but different intercepts a common question very simple question you could be asked is to find if you're given a, li a line and then you're asked to find the equation of any parallel line so to do this just under uh, realize recognize what the gradient is of the line that they want to say you're parallel to keep it the same for your new line but remember to change your intercept so in this one it says state example 16 says state any the equation of any straight line parallel to and the first one is y is equal to 2x uh, plus 7 so I'm just going to write down the gradient every time the gradient is 2 so I'm just going to write uh, my new line is going to be 2x and then I could even just write y equals 2x that is a, a parallel line with different gradients but people just don't like to leave just the gradient at zero so i'm just going to say 2x plus 10. okay there are loads of answers you don't have to give any of them but i could have given loads i could have said i said y is equal to 2x i could have said y is equal to y equals 2x right y equals 2x minus 5 anything at all but that's the one that's the one i have gone for y equals 2x plus 10. in this one y equals minus 3x minus 1. first of all i'm going to write down my gradient my gradient is minus 3 so I'm just going to write y is equal to minus 3x and their intercept was minus 1 so I'm going to change it to just plus 2 and that's one example again there's an infinite amount of different examples I could have given so as long as my gradient is the same and my intercept is different then it will be a parallel line okay part c this is where it gets a wee bit trickier first thing you've got to do is rearrange their original line to give it in the form y equals mx plus c so I'm just going to write it as y equals minus 2x plus 7 so all i've done is change the order that the thing is written so it's now in y equals mx plus c form then i can read off dead easy uh, that my gradient is minus 2. so my line is going to be y equals minus 2x and i'm just going to say plus 5. so i'm just picking any any number at random as long as it's not the same as their original intercept and it will be fine okay part d is again we're going to have to rearrange this is going to be y is equal to minus x plus 1. So it's dead easy for me to see that my gradient is minus 1. So that's just y is equal to minus x, and I'm going to say plus 16. That's my answer. In this one, the last one, a wee bit more work needed for this last example. No, it's not the last example at all. Uh, but a wee bit more work needed for this example. Uh, we're going to say in this one, I'm going to move the 2x across, so I'll have y, 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 6. And then what I can do is divide through by 3. So minus 2 divided by 3 is minus 2 thirds x, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So my m in this case is minus 2 over 3. So my line, a parallel line, would be minus 2 over 3 times x and i'm just going to say plus plus 20 so that would be an example of a parallel line in this one my m is 1 because that's really 1x so i'm just going to my parallel line is going to be just y equals x plus and i'll go x plus 4. 
And the last one, a wee bit tricky. This is to do with our vertical and horizontal lines. So this is to do with our vertical and horizontal lines. So I'm just going to do a diagram over here. There's my x-axis. There's my y-axis. And this, going through 4, is my line x equals 4. So if you look back in the video on vertical and horizontal lines, um, x equals 4 is a vertical line, and every point on this line has an equation 4. So to be parallel to this one, I'm going to just pick one over here. I'm going to say minus 4. So this is the line x equals minus 4. And you can see the two lines that I've just drawn, the x equals 4, and x equals minus 4 and the x equals 4, they are clearly parallel lines. Uh, so I will use x equals minus 4 as my answer. So that should be a minus in there, x equals minus 4 as my answer. So x equals minus 4. But any value at all, you could have had x equals 6, x equals 10, x equals 0 even, which would be the y-axis. Uh, anything at all would work for you here.